Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome back to Abdeck slash The Path of Adults. Uh, we are at Puzzle 12. I started looking at it last time and I got scared. <laughs> I decided, to, decided it would be safer to keep it to now. Um, alrighty, so... Um, so... Right, what were we thinking about? We were thinking about the fact that... Um, well, first of all, I still haven't fully confirmed that it's not possible for the paths, the adults to share paths, which would make this overwhelming if it is possible. Because, um, like, two of them might share a path and the other one might not, etc. Oh, dear. Um, we have to place an A, a C, and an E. I think what this is implying is that there's going to be, like, an alternating, like, you're going to be in light, you're going to be in shadow, you're going to be in light. That's my guess, but it's a bit of a guess. Um, oh, this looks so tricky. Remember what an E shape looks like. Let's actually draw that on here and let's stop moving it around. We're not gonna be scaling it up, right? Well, so one thing that's interesting is that these are all against the edge. So diagonals aren't gonna work. We're certainly not scaling it up the other way. In fact, I'm pretty sure we, it wouldn't fit. Uh, scale of any direction, like even at an angle. So let's draw E. I'm not necessarily doing it here, but I think it's like this shape. This shape? Yeah, that that is right. Okay, it's like a chair. Okay, I mean, so I might start just by like sort of moving this around, seeing what the implications are of doing that. Well, that puts you in a little space where you couldn't walk around. That's always going to be true down here. Um, move it up further, well then you're sharing the same space each other, we've got alcoves. Uh, that looks kind of interesting, but the path is going out of the border, so that's not going to work. I could imagine it slotting into one of those alcoves at the top. Um, there's also sideways, let's flip it first though. Uh, what if you're like this? Well, who's going there? No, nobody. Also, yeah, that wouldn't work. Also, the the very nature of this shape is that there are there's there's bottlenecks in it, so you wouldn't be able to walk a path through it. Ha! Huh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That implies that if there's an E going into this, oh, but we're slotting in other shapes, so we could fill in those spaces. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, we have similar problems with it that way around. What about upside down? Um, okay, actually, so this is interesting. There is no place that I could put... So thinking about parity again, right? Um, we would have to put... How many cells is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's odd numbered. The C can add an odd number or an even number, depending on how much it's scaled up. And the A can add um, an odd number. If it's scaled up, one, two, three, four, or an even number. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Um, so we can get odd numbers and even numbers by adding Cs to this. However, one of the one of the bottlenecks we'd have to fill in is this one here, which is going to require an odd number or an or yeah or another, a bigger odd number. So you could do a C, you could put an A in here for sure. You couldn't put a scaled up A. Okay, so that's fine. Adding an odd number to an odd number is good. We'd end up with an even number, but then we'd have to add an even to stay even, which is fine. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> it's just that we'd have to scale up a C to do it. Right? So for example, flip this over. Which side do they draw on? Hmm. I'm thinking like could a C squeeze into like one of these alco like that? Not exactly like that. Well, yeah, so like this with an, oh gosh, I've done it, haven't I? Have I done it? <laughs> C up here, 
A like that? In fact, don't I know that these must... Yeah, 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 unless... Because this bottleneck needs to be filled in, I have to use an odd number thing here. I guess I don't... And then, and then yeah, 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 okay. Unless there's a place to put the E that somehow leaves pass for everything, but that just obviously isn't going to be true. It isn't going to be true. I think I found the solution here, right? You've got a path. I presume you could probably walk this. Is it going to be unique? That's going to be the next question. And I presume you can probably walk this. Okay, let's let's find out. Wait, also, could this flip? No, because of the way it's going to intersect. Oh, well, there's a path over here without a an adult in it. Okay, I think I totally got this. I think I totally got this. You're up, you're up. Uh, let's follow this logically. That has to go that way, that has to go that way, that has to go. I mean, yes, it's gonna to have to be filled in. That has to go across there, done. You've got a path, do you have a path? Um, follow it logically. Something needs to go here. We need to go into the corner. We can put the corners in immediately. It's a classic thing you can always do in these kinds of puzzles, path puzzles. There's a corner there as well. Um, if this went that way and that, well, um, yeah, if this went that way and up, then we'd end up connecting this loop too early. So it can't go that way. So it's going up now. Oh, yes, that's fine. You go right, up, up. These can't connect early. That's totally the solution, isn't it? I think I got it. I think I got it. I had no reason to be scared of that puzzle. I mean, it was kind of still scary, but I'm pretty certain that is the answer. It just falls together too neatly, doesn't it? Okay, what was that? <laughs> it was, I'm trying to like see what I did. So it was, um, there's an E here. And I believe that it's unique just by virtue of like the asymmetry of this whole thing. Like this line over here is asymmetric. These are all shifted over like this. If I flip the thing, it like crosses over things in awkward ways. I am happy with this. I'm confident enough to put it in. See up there. And my like thinking about the parity once again worked out. Okay, so shade lightly. Um, and then we draw those paths again. So this went like up this way, right? Then along here. Cool. And then you're going to go, and this is unique, right? Yeah, of course it is. It has to go all the way up. And then all the way down. And you have to go this way. You have to go this way. You go up, right, up. Yes, yeah, and these lines exist to disambiguate the path through here as well. They kind of serve multiple purposes, which is kind of neat. That goes like that, that goes like that, goes like that. Sorry, it's a bit scruffy, but <laughs> there we go. I think that's 12. I'm pretty confident. I am pretty confident. I, I'm surprised at how confident I'm feeling with all these rules in this. Um, <clears throat> let's get rid of that mess. It's quite a mess. Oh, it's on the other side. That's on the other side. Wow, I've combined sides. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to end up getting very smudged paper now. It's because I flipped the E over. Oh, this is so smudgy. So I guess that's the side I was actually working on. So I'll continue on this side um, and just hope that I don't make too much of a mess on the paper. Okay, Path of Adults 13, A, A, B, B, C. It's going to turn out they can share paths. And like, it's going to be possible that I could prove that it was impossible for them to share paths in the previous one. But well, I, I guess we'll see, we'll see. Um, a, A, B, B, C. Okay, well, C is nice and constrained. Um, it either goes 
like that, or it goes bigger. But if it goes bigger, then we'd have to extend the shape, shape outwards. But if it doesn't go bigger, then we've got an alcove. So it does go bigger. Okay, so C is a big C. That's kind of confusing the way I've drawn it because now it looks like a C and an A combined. Oh, oh, don't forget that I can make shapes out of other shapes. That's true. So all I really know there is that this is all going to be covered in part of a shadow. Okay. Now this is kind of interesting. If we assume they can't share shapes, then you are going, sorry, share paths, and you're going like that, and you're going like that, and then you're going like that, and like that. And then you must be coming down here. That's you. Okay. Okay. Now, can I figure out who's connecting to this? Well, if it's going to be in shadow, I don't believe that I would be able to include you and cover, oh, a big B shape down here. Oh, I actually do believe it. A big A shape here. I've seen it. It's, ha it's just appeared to me. It has just appeared to me, hasn't it? So no, I think you are a small, this is so sneaky. <laughs> I think it has just appeared to me. I think, okay, let's, let's get rid of this. I think that was a wonderful vision. Um, B is going here. B is going here. A is going here. Oh, maybe, maybe that would mean C there. And then the final A. Oh, what does that imply about the final A? That implies, um, well, it has to keep the space even. So that the, the long edge is going to be out here, but we don't want an alcove. So like maybe there, y yes because then that leaves enough space for you to walk around. Now, is there a path for you to walk? That's the thing to confirm. That has to go there. That has to go there. I mean, it's, look at this. This is just, this is so good. <laughs> that has to go there. That has to go there. That can walk, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. It's, that's so obviously it, right? <laughs> I know I didn't like prove everything there, but a vision came to me. I have to follow the vision, right? As soon as I went, there's no way that like the shadow could like be going all the way around the back. Then I saw the space where a B could fit. Then I saw the space where an A could fit. I was like, oh gosh, it is totally going to do that. I mean, and I guess something I didn't say is that since we're assuming so far that they can't share paths. You would have to therefore necessarily loop around you. And therefore, if this path is part of this adult's path, then the loop can't happen around it because it's cut off from the outside. So that has to be part of that. Therefore, it has to stretch across. So then the other question after that is, could the shadows cover the inner adult's path instead? Um, and I think the problem there is actually becomes immediate here. Unless we put like a C in this space, I guess. But also you need to be a C. And so then are we leaving an alcove? Are we covering that up? Yeah, so that can't happen. Okay. Okay, I'm 100% confident. Not only did the vision feel perfect, but I, I think I just did enough there to prove it to myself. Uh, all right, so what was that? It was a B. This is fun. I really like this. This is neat. Um, another B here. Big A. Sorry, a bit scruffy. Uh, C is going up here. Sneaky C, making me think I had to put the thing here. Super sneaky. Although again, if I'd done that, oh yeah, if I'd done a big C, the path wouldn't have been able to go into like this space or it wouldn't have been able to go into these spaces. Yeah, okay. Uh, and the way that A fits there is cool. Okay, light shading so that I can draw over it. Um, 
Alrighty, very neat. Yeah, that does have to do that because this has to come back here because there's only one path to go through. It's too perfect to be wrong. Um, yeah, we have to go up there, otherwise we can't loop around the right way. We have to go all the way down here and left and up and left and down and left. Perfect. And then you go like this. Awesome. We're actually getting to the end of this, aren't we? I think there's maybe three more. Four more? Okay. <clears throat> what twist are you gonna throw at us? I know they're coming. I know how you work, Abdeck. Oh gosh, <laughs> really should get a new one of these. Oh, I just smushed it all over the paper. Eh, eh, eh. It's fine. It's there to get smushed on. Paper is meant to have ink on it. Path of adults, 14. A and B. We need an A and B and sheep. We need an adult. This is clearly going to teach us something. What's it going to teach us? I don't know. I'm terrified. Because um, it look, looks too simple. Um, a and B. If A was scaled up, it would include the B problem. Uh, so A is scaled down. Therefore, there's only three ways that A could go. All right. Um, B, okay, sure. Car outside. Um, B could be scaled up, but then we'd cover the A or it would touch the A and we'd have a problem. So it's not scaled up. All right. So it's not going that way. If you go that way, that way, or vertical. Okay, so it's got we've got three positions for all of them, right? Vertical, there, there. And in fact, because of the place that A can go and they can't touch each other, there's even fewer spaces. So then the question is, how do we make sure you have a path? Well, so if you're vertical, actually, A can't go up here. So then we have a problem. So you, you can't be vertical. So you have two possible places you can go. Oh, wow, this is clearly going to lead to some, like, what the heck? How is this possible? Uh, I can see it coming. Um, so we're saying, also, also, B can't be there. So B has to be here. And then A has to, yeah, we've immediately got a problem. A has to be here. Yep. 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 Oh, you're not saying... No, you're not saying that. I was gonna, from us thinking, can, can the adults go like that? I mean, that just, that just means that like, there would have been so many other paths they could have done in the other ones, right? Right. Well, you have to fill every space. Am I no? <laughs> no. No. And if I'd gone diagonal there, I would have left a, a space open. I am terrified. Okay, here, I could have gone up, diagonal, down, up, diagonal, down. Okay, there we go. Would have been ambiguous. Thank goodness. Up, diagonal, down, up, diagonal, down. Is that right? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Would have been ambiguous in the previous puzzle. Unless maybe my answer to that puzzle's wrong, but... Okay, so it's not that, I think. Let's consider. So the A can only go in exactly one place. That, because otherwise it's just going to touch the B. Um, so, and then the B can only go in one place. <laughs> So 
there's something I can do with this. But what? Maybe there's like a special thing of like, well, if you're stuck at a dead end, then you can go diagonal. But then that actually doesn't help because then you can't get through this space. This is the the checkerboard shading thing, isn't it? Like if we shade like checkerboard like this, if I enter on, and there's an even number of them, if I enter on the black shaded one, then I have to leave on the white shaded one if I want to hit all of them. Um, Once again, that mathematics for puzzles talk coming in handy. Um, so what are you saying, <laughs> game? <laughs> what are you saying? Diagonals can't be true. Also, there would have been other ways of doing diagonals. And yeah, too many, yeah, way too many ways. Okay, what are you saying? Um... I think you want me to easily place those A's and B's. I think you want me to be like, this is where they have to go. And well, I should question that though, shouldn't I? I should be like, well, what if they don't go there? What if they don't? I mean, could B have been at an angle? No, I don't think so. Oh no, B could have been at an angle. Ooh, maybe we're learning about angles. Are we learning about angles? We might be, this might be it. Okay. I think what we're saying is this B is gonna be covered up by this. Yeah, this fits too well. And so what you, okay, I think what you're saying is that the path is this and there's basically the half cover spaces you don't have to walk. That feels right, that feels good. Let's confirm it on the next puzzle. Let's confirm it on the next puzzle. Oh, geez, look at this. <laughs> okay, I guess we're only placing one A. All right, okay, okay. This isn't gonna be as bad as I think, I think. If I'm right about that rule. Basically, this A is clearly gonna to touch these paths and you could be on these paths. So therefore the A has got to be uh, big enough to cover all of these paths. Now, instinctively, it looks like it's kind of going to go at that angle, but we need to determine that there is exactly one angle that will work here, and every space is walkable. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> okay, well, so this path clearly doesn't go that way. It could go left, or it could go up. In fact, something has to go, like assuming this is gonna be shaded, which it has to be, something has to go through here. So then there's gonna be a pair of connections here, but I can't really tell which pair of connections is gonna be the one. Yeah, I can't tell for certain. Okay, um, like going into the A, it's gonna be a pair of edges, of course. Then, um, And what I need is to draw the A shape out and then like scale it up by like bringing this closer to the camera. <laughs> uh, that's not going to be a very accurate way to do it. I'll end up like tilting it and it'll be skewed or whatever. Like a, like a um, 3D transformation. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can sort of see how these are going to define like the edges, right? Like, cause if this keeps coming down, I mean, maybe that's where we start. Clearly like a scaled up A. Okay, how could we, how far could we scale up orthogonally? I know it's not gonna work, but let's just scale it up orthogonally. Uh, well, so it could be like three or four even. It could be like four, four, and then another four. Oh gosh, that wasn't very neat. Four, it can't, obviously can't go any bigger than that. Four, 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 four. There's not gonna be any place where I can place this that would cover everything because it's, it's wider than that shape. Okay, so very clearly it's not gonna be orthogonal. It's gonna be an angle. And I knew that anyway, but it was worth confirming. Um, and then, so if we know it's gonna be an angle, how much can it scale up? What's its maximum size? I mean, it's clearly, I can sort of see the shape, 
I also can't quite see the shape. Um, like to me, its shape is going to be like this. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not actually. Yeah, that's not going to be big enough, right? Three, three, three. No, it doesn't include that. Okay, I think I'm getting there just by doing this process. I then think the next thing to do is to put it at a slightly odd angle. Perhaps something like, so my instinct is something like this. Let's see where this goes. That would go down to there. Oh gosh, it fits exactly. Um, there, oh, this is it. This is it. Up to there. Oh, this is totally it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, everything's included. Okay, let's think about other angles. So I can do the same scale, but like, what if we've done, um, what if we've done that? Well, then nothing, not everything's in. Yeah, it's totally this. Everything fits in neatly. And let's just check if we can draw a path. And then I, I feel confident enough. Remember, if things, something is like half shaded, we don't need to go there. So this is gonna go this way, this way. That is fully unshaded. This is going to need a corner in it, so that's going to be like that. That's We don't want to connect this loop early, so we're going to go down this way. This is beautiful. I love it. That has to go that way because there's not a space to go into. This needs something in it, uh, so we're going to have to go into it and have to keep going down because of this edge here, or this path. That's going to have to go that way and that way and that way. That's got stuff in it, so we have to go up this has to go right to connect to there. Uh, this has to go right to go there. We don't want to connect this. That continues that way. This is clearly it. <laughs> that goes like that. That goes like that. And we're done. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. So what is it? There to there. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Don't really need to shade it in, but I'll do it anyway because it's just for consistency. Oh, I love it. It's really good. Um, let's make sure I don't mess this up. Um, that definitely went across. That went there, there. Make some of these lines a bit clearer. Um, you need something in you. That. Up to there. Up to there. Super cool. Such a nice pattern as well. And yeah, these like form the... Because like in a tilted thing like this, you have to form a kind of cross shape to touch all the pieces. And those just so neatly fit in. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Uh, all right, we might end up leaving that there. There's only two left. Oh dear. Oh dear. What? Do we have like portals or something? These are the symbols that we... Oh no, we have, we're gonna have a cross... <laughs> we're gonna have a cross book path, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, we'll see you next time. Oh, no. Bye-bye.